There are more than 8 million different species of living beings on Earth, therefore it makes sense that no one has ever seen or heard of them all. If you spent 30 seconds on each image and did it non-stop for 8 years without taking breaks for food or sleep, it would take you that long to view all 8 million images of the amazing animals that inhabit the Earth. Also, this operation seems totally impractical given the daily discovery of new uncommon animal species by scientists. In today's video, we will list out the top 12 weird animals that will freak you out. Subscribe to the channel, get some snacks ready, and let's go! 12. Venezuelan Poodle Moth The Venezuelan Poodle Moth has taken over the internet like Mothra in a subpar Japanese film. It has been compared to a fluffy dog, a Pokemon character, and a Power Rangers villain. Experts will now have to determine the precise location of this moth on the Tree of Life. The strange and fluffy Venezuelan poodle moth has only ever been found once, and it was not sampled. This moth, which is claimed to resemble a poodle, was found in Venezuela in 2009. Unless poodles had enormous wings and feathers in place of ears. 11. Snub-Nosed Monkey Asia is home to snub-nosed monkeys, whose habitat includes southern China, particularly Tibet, Sichuan, Yunnan, and Guizhou, and northern Myanmar. The short, forward-facing nose stump on these monkeys' spherical faces is how they got their name. Their fur is relatively long and multicolored, especially on the shoulders and backs. They develop a 51 to 83 centimeters body length and a 55 to 97 centimeters tail. These animals eat primarily fruit, leaves, bamboo buds, tree needles, and tree needle products. They benefit from a multi-chambered stomach for food digestion. 10. Goliath Tigerfish The Goliath Tigerfish, also known as Hydrocinus Goliath, is a large and powerfully built fish. The largest specimens can grow to be 6 feet long and weigh up to 100 pounds, though there have been reports of individuals weighing as much as 150 pounds or more. This fish was specifically developed to rip portions of meat from other fish and has long, crocodile-like teeth. Being a piscivore, the Goliath tigerfish mostly consumes fish. Any other fish that an adult can overwhelm, like a little Nile perch, will be consumed. There have been several instances of this fish biting humans in the Congo, according to reports. Its strength and notoriety have given it a standing among anglers that is almost mythical. It is known as the biggest freshwater game fish in the world. The evil spirit Mbenga, according to the natives who live beside the river, would enter the fish and cause it to harm people. 9. Purple Frog One of the two species in the Nasikabatrachidae family is the purple frog. The Western Ghats of India are home to this family, which has been independently evolving for almost 100 million years. In contrast to other more dorsoventrally flattened frogs, the purple frog's body is somewhat bulbous and appears robust and bloated. They can resist strong currents by using their flattened bodies to cling to submerged rocks and boulders, which enables them to stay close to stream banks, where they usually live. The purple frogs are most closely linked to a family of tiny frogs that are only found on the Seychelles, according to molecular data. 8. The Brazilian Treehopper The Brazilian Treehopper, Bocidium globular. A bug species from the family of treehoppers is a type of thistle membracity. It has strange appendages on its head. Although Bocidium are found all over the world, they are most prevalent in Africa, North and South America, Asia, and Australia. Their primary food source is the underside of leaves, and they travel somewhat slowly. This animal's thorax is covered in conspicuous, spherical appendages. Entomologists are still puzzled as to why these treehoppers have these appendages, despite the theory that the adaption deters predators. 7. Giant Isopod it's likely that you have never encountered a large isopod if you haven't spent a lot of time searching the ocean's depths and accidentally caught one in your fishing net. However, there aren't many aquariums that keep them that would have let you actually view one. You might find it really interesting to learn that the murkiest sections of the ocean are home to a sizable number of these gigantic, 
bug-like animals. And yet, they continue to be somewhat mysterious to us. From Georgia, USA, off the coast to Brazil, as well as the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, giant isopods have been observed in the West Atlantic. 6. Blue Dragon These pelagic sea slugs use the water's surface tension to stay upright while they float upside down, where the wind and ocean currents carry them along. Their body is blue on the side that faces up, matching the color of the ocean. When viewed from above underwater, the silver slash gray side of the sea slugs blends in with the sunshine bouncing off the water's surface. Other pelagic predators that blue dragon preys on include the Portuguese man of war and other venomous siphonophores. This sea slug protects itself from predators by storing stinging nematocysts from siphonophores within its own tissues. A very painful and maybe dangerous sting could be felt by those handling the slug. 5. Cereal Leaf Beetle The European insect pest known as the Cereal Leaf Beetle, CLB, is imported. In 1962, Michigan experienced its first detection. All of the states east of the Great Plains, as well as Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and Washington, were affected by the Cereal Leaf Beetle's spread. On host plants, CLB larvae and adults consume the veins of most fresh leaves. The upper leaf surface of the leaf is the part that is most severely damaged by larvae because they remove large strips of tissue while leaving the bottom surface's thin cuticle unharmed. This feeding strategy results in a unique frosted appearance. Crops can suffer substantial harm from larvae and adults. 4. The Blobfish the ugliest animal you've ever seen may be the blobfish, Cycrolutes marsitis. The blobfish was legitimately chosen as the world's ugliest animal in a 2013 competition hosted by the Ugly Animal Preservation Society, making the title legitimate. The blobfish is characterized by its small eyes, gelatinous appearance, huge mouth, comparatively small body, and tiny fins. Around Southeast Australia and Tasmania, blobfish are found in deep water barely above the ocean floor. The water pressure is crushing more than 60 times that of water at the surface at depths of 2,000 feet or more. You would most likely be compressed into a blob if you lived down there. 3. Star-Nosed Mole The star-nosed mole is found in low, moist areas of northern North America. The hamster-sized mole is the only member of the tribe to have an Imer's organ, a touch organ with more than 25,000 tiny sense receptors that allow it to navigate its surroundings. The star-nosed mole eats earthworms, tiny fish, terrestrial insects, aquatic insects, and small amphibians. Although little is known about the species' social behavior, it is assumed to be colonial. 2. Garial Crocodile the family Gavialidae, which includes the Gariol, is composed of just two species. It only shares the unique long, thin snout of the Thomastoma, formerly known as the fake Gariol, with that species. The Gariol's large jaws are lined with many sharp, interlocking teeth. One of the largest crocodilian species is the Gariol, with males reaching lengths of 16 to 20 feet, 5 to 6 meters. Females typically reach lengths of 11.5 to 15 feet. Gerials are mostly fish eaters as adults, while juveniles also eat frogs, insects, and crabs. The crocodile's distinctive snout and its sharp, interlocking teeth enable it to quickly strike at fish in the water and seize prey. 1. Dumbo Octopus As far as science is aware, the Dumbo Octopus is the deepest species of living octopus. It is located in the open ocean at depths of at least 4,000 meters, 13,100 feet, and possibly even much deeper. Dumbo octopuses have evolved specific habits to increase their chances of conceiving successfully whenever they meet a mate due to their scarcity and the expanse of the deep sea. Due to their preference for very deep seas and the rarity of fishing net captures, they are most likely not threatened by human activities. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification icon. 
so you'll be notified when we drop another video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.